Fellow Patriot, this will destroy your 2014. A chilling conspiracy will wipe out 281 million Americans in the next six months. The media has sworn a blood oath to keep it hushed. But you deserve to know the truth because in this treasonous agenda, you and your loved ones are the sacrificial lambs. That's why in this short presentation, I'm going to blow the lid off this twisted plot that has shocked even hardcore liberals because knowing this secret information will decide who will survive and who will perish when this sinister plot unravels. You'll discover the real secret reason why the U.S. economy hasn't collapsed yet and exactly when the dollar will turn into dust and our streets into hell. And if you stick with me until the end, I'll also share with you the story of how a penniless, crippled senior survived and prospered through a four-year economic Armageddon. You will be shocked when you see why others were begging him to take their gold. And even though this might sound impossible now, once you read this presentation and do what it says, you'll discover exactly what to do to ensure that your loved ones are well-fed like a king when chaos reigns, even though hungry mobs are roaming the streets or breaking into homes desperately looking for food. While the unprepared masses will see their guns taken away from them and their families shipped off to some FEMA camp, you'll not only escape the terrible fate of most Americans, but will be a hero to your family and to your neighborhood. So that's why if you live off Social Security, currently stocked up with food, guns, and ammo, or have a tingling suspicion that the government is plotting something sinister, then you need to read this urgent presentation now. Hi, I'm Bill White, editor of one of the most respected preparedness websites in the world, Survivopedia.com. You may have seen my urgent bulletins on websites like WND.com, Townhall.com, or TheBlaze.com. For more than a decade, my mission has been to give hardworking and honest Americans just like you the knowledge and tools needed to protect our families and survive any crisis, from a natural disaster to a sinister attack on the U.S. grid, while protecting the constitutional rights of true American patriots from the tyranny of the government. And while I've been focusing on attacks from abroad and threats of massive food shortages due to rising food costs, I stumbled upon something that makes all these pale by comparison. Something that will completely turn our lives upside down. Something that I was utterly unprepared for. And chances are, you and your family are not prepared for either. Because in my research, I couldn't help but think, why does my gut say that we're headed for the cliffs when the numbers say that the economy is doing so well? I mean, think about it. The Dow is at an all-time high. President Obama is bragging about super low unemployment rates. And our inflation is so small, it would make stable countries like Germany or Singapore envious. However, what I uncovered made my heart stop. It turns out the real economy has more to do with the old USSR than with anything remotely related to a prosperous society. Take unemployment, for instance. The official rate is 7.2%, almost two-thirds the rate it was four years ago. Yet, if you're anything like me, you might have noticed many of your friends and neighbors still struggling to find a job. What's happening here? To fix the unemployment rate, a government basically has two big options. Create jobs or change the definition of what unemployment is. What did our government do? You guessed it. They changed the way the unemployment rate is calculated and redefined unemployment as number of Americans receiving unemployment benefits. Stopped receiving benefits? It doesn't matter that you haven't had a job since Clinton. In the state's eyes, you're not unemployed. But when you use the way the government calculated unemployment rates before the 1990s, the shocking rate is 24%, far more than during the Great Depression. There are more than 101 million working-aged Americans unemployed. That's the entire population of Texas, California, New York, Florida, Illinois, Pennsylvania, the six most populous states here in the U.S., combined. People who cannot contribute to the economy, who don't have enough money to buy goods, and who in a crisis will probably be the first ones to flood the streets. Count the rest of the population who is either too young or too old to work, and you'll be shocked to discover that a mere 86 million Americans are supporting a whopping 317 million people. This means that the average American worker has to carry four people on his back, and even this number is bound to grow. But if unemployment is scary, then brace yourself for its evil twin, inflation. Because if you've been doubting the propaganda that says the dollar is only losing 1.5% in value each year, then you've been right all along. 
Because if you're checking your bills and receipts, you probably already suspected something fishy is going on. A 1.5% inflation rate would make us as stable as Switzerland or Singapore. Medical costs would be stable, food prices wouldn't go through the roof, and the utilities would cost pretty much what they used to. But this is not what you're seeing, is it? Look, it's not hard to have a low inflation rate when you decide how to calculate it. Heck, a government could show a negative inflation rate if it wanted. All it would have to do would be to leave out the items that get more expensive and only focus on those that become cheaper. And the government has already manipulated the way to calculate inflation rate numerous times throughout the past two decades. Each time, the purpose is to make inflation look smaller. That's why even though a big chunk of your earnings goes on fuel and food, these items are precisely what's missing when they calculate the inflation rate. It's an outrage. For example, the price of fuel, like gasoline, rose from $1.86 to $3.30 in the last five years. A doubling of price over five years. And that brings us to a shocking 15% inflation rate for gasoline. And speaking about food prices, in 2008, the price of a Big Mac is around $3.20. But in 2014, the price has shot up to $4.62. That means an inflation rate of around 10% a year, instead of the 1% to 2% the government is claiming. And worse, even though the inflation rate for groceries are in the double digits, retailers are selling items at smaller volumes. For example, peanut butter companies no longer have flat bottoms on their jars. Instead, the bottom is concave, leaving less room for your peanut butter. Cereal manufacturers like Kellogg use the same sized box so that the packaging looks the same, except the amount inside has gone down. For example, Kellogg's Apple Jack has shrunk 15%. You can see inflation creeping even in the rolls of toilet paper. They are getting not just shorter, but also thinner. If you use the way the government calculates inflation before 1980, the real inflation rate right now is actually a jaw-dropping 11%. And because of this hidden inflation, the value of your money is getting eroded every day. Every dollar you earn gets you less and less. And this means that you are working more for less pay. Why is the government manipulating all these numbers and lying to us? Politicians are painfully aware that they have to hide the actual numbers. Otherwise, every patriotic American will revolt against them, just like how they fought trying to phase out Obamacare. And as scary as it seems, what is happening now is exactly a reenactment of what happened to the Soviet Union in the 1980s, which operated under massive public deception. Factory managers would send false production reports showing more than they have done. Outstanding results were reported by all industries, even despite the fact that the Soviet Union produced the worst consumer goods in the world. And when they collapsed, it caught everyone by surprise. Because if you just look at the numbers, you would have thought the economy is booming. It's the exact same thing happening now in the U.S. Everywhere you look, productivity is reported as up, unemployment as down, manufacturing as strong and American wages as increasing. Yet none of it is true. Look, the fact that you're still watching this presentation and that you understand the dangers inherent in these numbers shows that you're clearly more in tune with the horrible financial state of the U.S. economy than the average American. Ask any economist regarding double-digit unemployment and inflation rates, and they would say that you are right next to a collapse. And what's scary about this is that before this, you may have thought that a collapse may be years away or may not happen at all. Now you know that we are standing at the edge of a thousand-foot cliff. And a sudden economic meltdown will catch the majority of Americans unprepared and falling to their deaths. And that is exactly what will happen. But what came as a surprise to me as well is that this will happen in the next six months or less because of an unforeseen implication in Obama's signature law. Because while the mainstream press is distracted by the failing healthcare.gov website and low sign-up rates, the really terrifying part of Obamacare was not mentioned at all, and that will wipe out 281 million Americans. Look, the average American family makes $51,017 a year, and 8,500 of it, or 17%, goes to health care. But under Obamacare, costs will double, according to data from the U.S. government's very own health care reporting bureau. But here's the kicker. According to Fox News, 76% of American families already live paycheck to paycheck. For them, adding even $100 to monthly costs would be disastrous. Under Obamacare, yearly costs would go up an additional $7,450.
The government gets its funding from working class taxpayers, but when those who pay taxes can't even pay their own bills, the government will collapse under its own weight. The government also won't be able to get money it needs from taxing businesses because 90% of all companies in the U.S. are dependent on selling goods to the working class. And when the backbone of the U.S. economy vanishes into thin air, you'll see the greatest string of corporate bankruptcies in the United States. As banks close down, your life savings will evaporate. But the most dangerous part of this is that this collapse will happen out of the blue, and many Americans will be caught unaware. In a day or two, they'll realize the serious implications. Young children will be forced to roam the streets, begging for scraps. Armed looters will storm into innocent families' homes, stealing supplies and spilling blood everywhere. That's why you need to start preparing now, especially for a long-term crisis. But where to start? Buying gold and silver is a good start, and having some precious metals is a great hedge against what's to come. Yet relying too much on gold and silver can prove deadly, because historically, they are one of the first things to get seized by the governments in times of economic stress. So imagine the horror you'd feel when you put thousands or maybe tens of thousands of dollars into rare metals only to have them snatched away. Another option would be to have a massive stockpile of food, water, and guns and trying to wait the collapse out. But did you remember that gun confiscation will happen in an emergency such as during Hurricane Katrina? And also the scary fact that FEMA is allowed to seize your food stockpile in times of a crisis. Or worse, because of your stockpile, FEMA can consider you as a terrorist and lock you and your loved ones up in a FEMA camp. These are just some of the mistakes preppers or concerned citizens are doing. I'll reveal some death sentencing mistakes later in the presentation. But right now, if you're scared by the seemingly lack of alternatives, you're not alone. I lost countless nights trying to figure how to survive, as I needed a bulletproof way to protect myself and my loved ones from the upcoming financial apocalypse. After what seemed like a century of failed searches, I eventually discovered how, from conversations with economic collapse survivors. I'll show you exactly how they did it and how you can do it too. Even if you don't have a cent to your name, think you're too old, don't have time, or are confused and overwhelmed by the amount of information out there already. Or even if you don't have any preparedness knowledge, this information you're about to discover works better if you don't have any prepping knowledge because you don't have to unlearn all the bad advice that puts you and your family's life in danger. It all began when I put up an article on Survivopedia where I talked about the problem and asked the readers for ideas and solutions. I got several intriguing ideas and comments, but one of them stood out more than the others. It was from a guy called Pablo. He said he survived an economic collapse firsthand and explained how to build a discreet cooling device with just a bucket to keep his food supplies fresh and cool during the hot summer when the grid is down. Because of his unique method and detailed explanations, I realized this guy was speaking from experience, not just conventional and rehashed strategies that many survival experts are touting. Strategies that sound good in theory, but are completely unproven in a collapse. I reached out to him via email, and we started a conversation. He gave me permission to share our email conversation and his story, which I will paste parts of it right here now in the presentation. Hey, Bill, thanks for reaching out. I love the information on Survivopedia. Let me share my story with you. It was a shock to me when my country's economy crumbled almost overnight. I knew about the widespread unemployment, pesos getting weaker due to inflation and huge foreign debts, but I just never thought that it can really happen. It was crazy. 70% of all children in the country were suddenly classified as poor. People took to the streets, rioting violently, fighting with the neighbors for food and water. The banks froze all financial accounts in the entire country for 12 months. I couldn't even take out my money. I felt as helpless as those who were already homeless. Businesses went bankrupt at record rates. I was fired from my job because my company couldn't pay my salary. To support my wife and daughter, I had to work as a cartonero scavenging the streets for cardboard scraps to sell to recycling plants for a few precious pennies. This went on for three months. Then something terrible happened. It was June 17, 1998. I just came back from the recycling plant when I saw my wife rushing around in a panic, with tears in her eyes. I immediately sensed something was off here, and soon I discovered it was because something was seriously wrong with my daughter. Her eyes were red and was passing blood. She was whimpering, Daddy, help me. I was completely paralyzed. I didn't know what to do. We didn't have any medicine to cure this. Heck, we didn't even know what my daughter caught. 
I went out and onto the chaotic streets trying to find help, but I couldn't find any. It was every man for himself. It was the worst week of my life, watching my daughter slowly wither away, unable to save her. I could still remember her parting words, Daddy, it's okay. Please take care of yourself and Mommy. That was my breaking point. For the sake of my daughter and my wife, I made a vow to not only tide through the collapse, but to prosper. Pablo went through a lot of hardships, pain, and suffering to discover how to survive and thrive in the collapse. After telling me about his personal history, we talked about problems that arise in an economic collapse and how to solve them. For example, one of the common problems that he discovered was that many put themselves and their family in danger by trying to do too many things at once. They would agonize searching for food and water or building up home defenses and end up accomplishing neither. The next day they would realize they also needed to find medicine and a working motor, making them even more overwhelmed. As this vicious cycle is repeated over, even the brightest and most physically capable would find themselves starving and vulnerable. One effective way he discovered is to prioritize each task. You list out your immediate objectives from the most crucial to the least crucial and making sure each is achieved in order, instead of letting everything overwhelm you. It may sound like common sense. In a disaster scenario, this is really life-saving information. Pablo also shared with me how, after two years into the collapse, he eventually uncovered the deadly disease that cost him his daughter, and why everyone needs to pay attention to this because his painful lesson may save the life of someone you love. He told me that looking back, her symptoms were extremely common in any disaster scenario. You need to realize that when the toilets aren't working, people have to dig latrines. Most people dig their latrine pits about one and a half feet deep, and when an unexpected rainstorm came rolling in, the latrine immediately flooded and spread its contents to the surrounding ground. When everything dries up after the rain, the feces matter appeared to be washed away, but the deadly bacteria remained. When kids go out to play, they may contract the deadly bacteria, and if you don't know what to do, then they will go through a world of pain, like what his daughter went through. According to Pablo, the best way to prevent this is to dig your pits at least 5 feet deep, and make sure it is at least 16 feet away from your home, marking out the danger zone with tape to show where dangerous bacteria can potentially roam. That was just some of the tips that he shared with me and my subscribers. He also told me about an asset that is more valuable than guns in a crisis, especially during an economic collapse where money turns into dust. This is something that will have people begging to give you their gold, because after he discovered this, it was exactly what happened to him. You'll never have to worry about food, water, and other necessities in a crisis again, allowing you and your family to ride out the crisis in total comfort. At that time, I thought I found the holy grail of survival. And while it's true that you can never be prepared enough, but having someone who survived and thrived through 48 hellish months of a recent economic meltdown telling you exactly what to do, what mistakes to avoid, and stories of his experience, how much is that worth to you? To know that your loved ones won't have to join the masses on the streets who are collecting scrap cardboard for a few pennies. A wave of relief washed over me. It is an amazing feeling. I decided to make it my mission at that time to pass on Pablo's knowledge to all American families. Because I want everyone to experience the comfort and confidence that comes from knowing that their family is protected. And the best way to extract what Pablo knew was to interview him in person. Pablo was excited about the idea as well because he really wanted to share his knowledge so that no one would suffer the grief of losing a loved one again. I flew over to Argentina and got to work like a man possessed. I extracted life lessons from Pablo, every mistake he made, every single detail on how he survived the economic collapse, what crucial items to have, what items to avoid having, every single effective strategy he'd experienced, and even the commonly known survival techniques he'd watched fail, and in some terrible cases leading to the deaths of his friends. I also took all my readers' questions with me like how to have consistent food stores in a crisis, storing food and water without alerting anyone, what to do when guns and ammo aren't available to you, and so on. We took all that information and organized everything into a comprehensive survival plan that would help other families, just like yours, to not only survive the economic collapse, but to thrive in its aftermath. Even as society continued to deteriorate, and even if the U.S. entered a state of emergency that lasted not several days, but several long and terrifying years, like Argentina did. And while interviewing him, 
I'm also very well aware of the problems my subscribers were already dealing with. Information overload, but even more dangerous than that, misguided information. Because a lot of these survival experts with their Amazon bestseller books are sitting behind their computer imagining how an economic collapse will happen and write about unproven, rehashed solutions. And when everything turns into hell, it is the innocent Americans who follow this unproven advice that will go down in flames, dragging their families along with them. Also, many of my readers were complaining about information overload. I kept this in mind, and that's why I have broken down everything into bite-sized action steps that you can take according to the system that Pablo devised to survive the economic collapse. I spent weeks polishing up and organizing everything into a valuable program called Conquering the Coming Collapse, real, proven survival strategies when money turns into dust. You will have an entire step-by-step -step proven survival plan in place in less than 14 days from now. Here's my promise to you. If you have the desire to discover real-world preparedness and have an open mind, you'll discover exactly what to do to thrive when the dollar becomes useless and all hell breaks loose. Here's what you'll discover when you go through the course. You'll discover the one thing that you must never do when someone is trying to get into your home. Many preppers are unaware of the dangers that this one simple action can cause. But doing this tells the looter exactly what to do to get in. This might sound impossible, but Pablo will tell you a simple setup that will make looters believe that your home is abandoned with nothing worth stealing and literally forces them to leave your home alone. Pablo will also reveal how a simple cup left on the ground can kill 99% of the bacteria in your drinking water without any extra work. Learn this and you won't have to spend hundreds of dollars on expensive water filters or an energy source to boil your water. You'll be able to enjoy fresh, clean, thirst-quenching water whenever you want in a crisis. One of the golden nuggets Pablo told me left me astounded. It was how he made a heating source using nothing but a tuna can, some cardboard, and a little fat or grease. This was how he cooked his food undetected during the collapse. You definitely don't want to signal the hungry mobs out there that you have food and a fire. You'll discover a simple trick to quickly and accurately recognize which plants are protein and nutrient rich and which are deadly based on a study of more than 500 North American plants and insects. This will save your life if your family is forced to take to the wilderness for survival. You'll also learn about the U.S. Army all-around defense setup. This is how the U.S. Special Forces protect their base camp from being detected by enemies and also the deadly trap that wipes out enemies in a blink of an eye if they ever wandered into their base. I knew about this setup from a Special Forces friend, but I was surprised when Pablo figured out the same thing when he was going through the collapse. There's a whole section on surviving the collapse as a senior. Pablo's experience is that in a crisis, seniors will be the first to be targeted because many of us can't move well and will not win in a fight against desperate looters and mobs. Pablo will show you the secret trick to instantly disarm, neutralize, and even kill any hostile who may threaten you or your family. You just need to know where to hit or tap the one asset Pablo says that you must have in a crisis. You will have people begging to give you food, guns, and even gold in exchange for this asset. The surprising fact about this is that you can get this asset now, even if you don't have a penny to your name. Plus, you'll also obtain a checklist of the most essential items to surviving the first 72 hours of a total societal collapse. Getting these items now can be the difference between life or death during the first few crucial hours of a collapse. Here's the flat-out truth of what's going to happen when you go through the course and do what it says. You'll have the power to survive and prosper through any crisis without relying on the incompetent government or FEMA. In addition, you'll have valuable assets that people are begging to exchange gold and food for. You'll be able to keep your family under one cozy roof, put food on your children's table, even if stores have been looted while other kids on the street are scavenging for dirty food scraps. As the American way of life goes down in flames, a new man will rise, and you can be one of them one who prospers and goes through the crisis on your own terms, writing your own rules instead of being told what to do by the government. You'll feel confident, knowing that virtually nothing will catch you by surprise anymore. Listen, if you really are concerned about your family and the state of our country, then this has already changed everything for you. If you walk away now, you will always wonder what you don't know.
Imagine when you no longer worry about disasters because you are always fully prepared no matter what happens. When Pablo's 48-month survival experiences are downloaded into your brain, you suddenly understand everything. What common problems occur in a collapse and know exactly what to do when the unthinkable happens, all this confusion and worry will just fade away. If you are like most people, when it first happens, you will be stunned, and then a sense of relief will flow through you. Just imagine for a minute all that anxiety fading away. No more worrying about the latest government plot that threatens our liberty and economy. No more confusion about how and what to prep. No more worrying about not having enough money to prep. Only complete confidence that you have the ability to be self-sufficient, to be independent, and to protect your family when a disaster strikes. Wouldn't that feel really good? You bet. And this is the really great part. Just go through the program and you'll have the exact blueprint to surviving and thriving through any financial collapse. No more wasting time on the Internet searching for unproven preparedness information and getting more confused. In fact, here's what I want you to do. Just go through the first lesson. Take the time to really understand what it is saying, what things to do. And then go on to Google and research that topic. Compare conventional prepping wisdom from the web to Pablo's real-life advice from the program. You will find that Pablo's experience will be completely different from what these preparedness experts are saying. After this, you'd be able to spot exactly who have real-life experiences and who are the liars that are just pretending. Let me ask you a question. How much is it worth to you to feel like you have magic powers, to be completely independent from the government, to be financially self-sufficient and able to protect your family in a disaster, to know that you'll never have to beg, borrow, or steal? just to feed your family or clothe your children or to not have to live in unsanitary conditions or worry about finding the fuel or energy needed to cook your food and power your home avoiding the pain of begging FEMA for scraps or standing in the soup lines with government officials deciding who eats today or frantically trying to hide your water food and guns as federal agents show up at the front door and say they must take everything you own for the good of the state what would that be worth to you? I mean, think about the other things that you spend your money on, the expensive food stockpile, and other books written by people who never experienced a real collapse. And if just one piece of advice inside this program can save the lives of someone you love, how much is it worth to you? I hope you see the value in this, because there is no one else out there that will share all these real-life experiences with you. Yes, there are some people who survived an economic collapse and wrote tidbits about it, but from what I have researched, not one of them started with nothing like Pablo did and prospered through a four-year economic meltdown with his wife. You have to realize that the consequences of an economic collapse will not be the same as if there's a terrorist attack or a food crisis or a grid attack. What will be happening in the following months is something that Americans have never experienced before. The closest we've ever come is the Great Depression, and yet, while things were bad, society and the government survived. And with no middle class to fund anything, with no jobs, no economy, and a government that is already tens of trillions of dollars in debt, and that can't depend on China or Russia to give them more money to help bail out its citizens, you and your family will be completely on your own, unless, that is, you have the ease to take the actionable steps included in the program in which case you can have an entire proven survival plan in place in less than 14 days from now without spending more than $100 in expenses. When Pablo and I finished creating this program, we could have easily turned this material into a $300 per seat seminar, like some preparedness experts are charging, just because it is so valuable and life-changing. But I'm not going to do that. In fact, I made it my mission to spread this life-saving information to every family in America. This really isn't about money for me. Look, don't get me wrong. I like getting paid for my work, but this is really about helping as many Americans as I can to tide through the coming disaster. I hope you can tell from my writing how passionate I am about this and how much I want this for you. So I won't have you invest $300 or $97 that everyone who has seen the program is asking me to charge. Not even close. The price is just to cover my costs, like writing, editing, and distribution. And as long as this presentation is up, I'll let you have the complete program at just $37 today. Because if you're reading this presentation, it means there's still a fleeting moment in time. But you have to get started immediately. 
but I'm only guaranteeing the low enrollment cost if you click the button below this presentation right now. In fact, don't be surprised if you leave this page and come back later to see that this special price isn't available anymore. And because I'm so confident that this program will revolutionize the way you see things, I even have a 60 days no questions asked money back guarantee. Just say maybe to the program. And if for any reason you want your money back, just send an email to the address located in the members area and you will get your money refunded promptly within 24 hours. No questions asked. And if you decide to test drive the program today, I'll even throw in unlimited email support with me and Pablo. Ask us any questions regarding the program and we'll be glad to help you become fully prepared every step of the way. Just click the button below this presentation to test drive the program. Here's exactly what you are going to see. First, you'll be taken to our unique checkout page. Enter your details and payment details, and you'll be brought to our secure members area, where you'll be able to learn everything that Pablo went through and more. It's sad, but every day I see unprepared families, and I can't imagine how devastated they will feel when the unthinkable happens. I really want to help them, but I cannot help those who do not want to help themselves. Right now, there are other fellow patriots who have gone through the program and felt bolts of new insights going off in their minds. And you've got a chance to be one of them by clicking the button below this presentation. It's decision time and one of the most important decisions in your life. Right now, as you are reading this, you are at a crossroads, a crossroads that could change your destiny in the upcoming collapse. When you think about it, you only have two options. Option one is to leave the page. Try to forget everything I told you. Try to ignore that nagging feeling in your mind, that desire to know the exact way to prosper in an economic collapse. Go back to feeling overwhelmed with prepping and even preparing for the crisis the wrong way. Not to be a pessimist, but you already know that this is the course of action most American people will take. They're going to keep their heads in the sand, keep being distracted by reality TV and stock market evangelists. And when the economic collapse suddenly strikes down onto America like a massive bolt of lightning from the sky, they will act shocked. Then begin panicking in the streets, begging Big Brother and the federal government to come rescue them. How would you wrestle with the fact that you could have made your family's life so much easier and become one of the haves, a powerful leader in the post-collapse economy who uses his vast survival resources required to keep the ones he loves financially secure? Or... You can go with option two. You can be one of the smart Americans who understands something amazing when they see it, who goes through the program, feel your worries and anxiety melt away, and replaced by a feeling of power, knowing that you are prepared even if blood is running in the streets and money turns into dust. To test drive the program, all you have to do is to click the button below this presentation. You'll gain instant access to the complete program and will know exactly what to do to survive an economic collapse. Still here? It's not uncommon for folks who read this presentation to have a few questions, so let me do my best to answer some of the most common ones right now. Do you really think that an economic collapse will happen in the next six months? Yes. Look at the data and hard facts and tell me what alternatives there are. The middle class is holding up the rest of society. They pay the overwhelming majority of taxes, and without them, the government will collapse. Obamacare will put the average middle-class family into a debt of $5,147 per year. They'll be unable to buy anything, bankrupting business both small and large. As companies close their doors, unemployment rates will skyrocket. Those same 86 million working adults will now find themselves out of jobs, meaning they won't have money for anything, even to pay the government. And when that happens, the government will suddenly be unable to perform even the most basic functions or bail out Americans who are suddenly homeless and jobless because of the collapse. What's included with my investment of the Conquering the Coming Collapse program? You'll get a detailed step-by-step -step survival blueprint. This includes comprehensive step-by-step -step guides for everything you need to keep your family safe, from home defense to foraging for food, from grid-free energy to sanitation. And it's written based on first-hand experience, not some armchair survivalist who's guessing what needs to be done. What makes this different from all of the other survival guides out there? As I just mentioned, this guide is written by someone who has actually been through an economic collapse. There's no guessing here. 
It's based on the real-world experiences of someone who not only survived, but managed to thrive, even in the face of massive unemployment and chaos. Think of it this way. If you wanted to learn to play guitar, would you choose the instructor who's never picked up a guitar, but has read several books about how to play? Or the instructor who has been playing guitar for 20 years and knows every little detail of what makes a musician great? It's the same thing here. What are the terms of the guarantee again? Go ahead and invest in the Conquering the Coming Collapse program right now by clicking the button that's below this presentation. Once you do, you'll have a full 60 days to implement the action plans to discover the survival strategies and build your emergency supply system. If you're disappointed for any reason, don't feel totally confident that your family is safe. Simply send me an email and I'll immediately refund your entire purchase. What happens after I hit the Add to Cart button? After you hit the Add to Cart button below, you'll be taken to my secure, encrypted checkout page. Once you've entered your info and submitted that, you'll have immediate access to your Economic Collapse Survival Program. How long will this presentation be up for? I can't say, but probably not long. As soon as things start to get bad, I'll be taking it down and focusing on making last-minute preparations for my family. On top of this, it's urgent. You get the Conquering the Coming Collapse program now because you need to start taking steps immediately in order to be 100% confident that you and your loved ones are protected.